Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second episode of Theme Park at Home. I'm Kevin, and he's Jeff. Uh, so what are we doing today, Jeff? What's on the menu? Well, a uh, quick update on what we're working on. Um, we're uh, working on the Prohibition Speakeasy event for later this year. And we're just starting to work on an uh, outer space escape room, escape ship event after wow. that. Mm. Yeah, that's going to be a big thing, probably bigger than we've ever done before. We keep getting bigger and bigger. Um, and we're going to do some smaller things to show you uh, for fun. We're going to do a 48-hour What Can We Do With This Event event, where it's kind of like chopped, but not just with food, where we invite a bunch of people, and we're going to be told what our event is, and we have 48 hours <laughs> to come up with it in, in all the different ways that we can. So we're going to get the uh, envelope... The we're going to open it and it's going to say what our event is. We got 48 hours to do it. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to be running around like chickens with our head cut off. Um, and I'm also hoping we can do a miniature golf course with some effects uh, for fun as well over a weekend or something, a smaller thing we can show like that. Great. Yep. Um, so besides that, um, we're going to today be talking about one of our larger events that we had done and a summer, summary of the rest. Right. So, and who are we? Yeah, well, bringing you up to date on all that, uh, we are theme park professionals who do this uh, on our own time at our own houses. And so uh, this industry that we're in is called themed entertainment, special venues. It's theme parks and museums. And uh, what else? Uh, science centers. Casinos, cruise ships. Okay, everything. Everything that, that you could... Uh, and those are the special venues that we're talking about. Uh, so that's us. And uh, so we're going to talk about some past projects here really briefly. And then get into, uh, like, the most recent project that we worked on. Right, so Gold Rush. So take it away. What's so, the first one? Well, the most made the three major ones that we did before the gold rush, and we will go into these later in other videos in an over, uh, overview as well, is the uh, the first one was a zombie party in 2010, and that one uh, all the guests were made to be zombies, needed to be zombies, and they're showing up to a compound uh, where the last humans are, and they're going to come in and try and take it over. So you went nuts around your house with special effects and decorations and sound effects and all right. that, food, everything, right? Yeah, everything was themed to be zombie, and you ended up eating one of the characters. Oh, wow. So, I wish I was there. I wasn't invented yet in, in 2010. Uh, yeah, that that's was fantastic. before your time. That was before my time. Uh, so zombies, and uh, so what else? What's another part? What's the next party that we did? The next one that we did that was major was the Oscars VIP event in 2016. And uh, theming-wise, we wanted the guests to feel like they were really there, so we assigned them all actual nominees for the awards that night, and they had lanyards and dressed up really nice and showed up and did a red carpet event and all kinds of stuff. Um, it was quite a fancy event, a little bit different uh, than we normally do. So there, there was a, a lot of video going on there and, uh, you know, special effects and uh, great food and drink. Okay, so what's what's the other one we want to talk about before we get to the gold rush? Uh, the Mardi Gras event in 2017. And for this one, it was supposed to be a smaller event. We decided to do it a few months ahead of time. So um, we built a facade that looked like New Orleans and we had a really great jazz band and uh, then my wife and I cooked uh, a bunch of uh, New Orleans food and we had hurricanes as well. So that's more of a traditional party in the sense that um, it wasn't as huge as some of the others but we the facade did have propane lanterns that really worked and I bought from New Orleans and uh, we had windows in the facade that had a video in them so we had people dancing and silhouettes and jazz done by and and this is where i came into the whole thing uh, i got roped in to make the video for the these windows uh, that had characters dancing and other special effects and sometimes writing and curtains and other stuff like that and i guess it worked pretty well uh i it was una unable to attend but boy i uh 
certainly got roped into uh, the final one that, that we did. <laughs> right. So the focus of this video is, is the gold rush and just an overview of what all of the things that we included in that. So uh, we'll go over to this in more detail. We uh, had an invitation that was a telegraph, telegram that you received. And it looked like one and asked you to come at a certain time. And what we didn't tell people is that we had a ride that we built around the house, a dark ride, which is what might people might associate with the haunted mansion, that kind of a ride, slow moving. But it was a mine ride. They're so in mine when they carts. got there, they had yeah. mine carts. Yeah. They were in fact mine carts. And when you got the to the event, uh, you had to board the board it to get in. All right, so, so you're outside the event, exactly. you get into the mine cart, and you, you're not really inside the party until you go, uh, go where? You go through this tunnel. Right, so you go through Boot Hill that we designed to be like the Arizona, the actual Boot Hill, and then you went into the North Mine Tunnel. And for that we had doors that opened automatically, uh, that were kind of like uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. And as you entered, we had fake rock that we built, and it looked like real mine tim <clears throat> timbers and an adit, it's called when you go through the beginning, the opening. And uh, it looked like a working mine. And then at the end, we, Kevin had a video uh, that was projected onto the rear doors. As you went through those doors, then you appeared in our uh, our backyard. So you're actually entering it. Three mine cars. We had three mine carts, and I should say that this this uh, this ride was built actually to how you would do it in a theme park. Um, each we had zones, and the three cars could enter the zones. They could act independently. Um, the whole thing we programmed with a PLC, which is what you'd really do for a real ride. In case you're wondering, that's a programmable logic controller, just in case people haven't heard of a PLC. And yeah, there are other things you can use, but that's what you should use for ride programming. That way nobody uh, for gets safety hurt. reasons. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, then, it, as you went out, you could see the whole thing as you showed up through those doors, and you actually rode underneath the stage where musicians are playing, and then would uh, appear at the rear uh, train station where you would stop and get out. At the party. At the party. Right. So, so the whole house was, had, was covered with a facade that you couldn't see the house and uh, it looked like a mining camp. Uh, right. Had some windows that were treated again with video and some signage and food and drink and tables and lots of fun. So we actually shot multiple films for those, each of those that we actually acted in. Yeah. And um, that was fun. And so what would happen is uh, we actually had uh, wanted a shooting gallery. So it started out where we just wanted a big table and you would have a shooting gallery in the way that they have at Disneyland and other places as, as you would think of it. And we decided to incorporate it in the cars and the ride instead. So after going on the ride to end up in the rear train station, you could get back on it and go around as many times as you wanted and you could fire at targets. And each of the targets would light up when you hit it, kind of like Astro Blasters at Disneyland. And, um, and it would have a little effect that would go off with each one as well as, uh, as you would do it. And one of the things that would happen is the videos uh, on the facade, when you hit the target, it would turn, uh, make the video change into uh, something else as you hit it, just like magic. So yeah. uh, in another episode, we're gonna go into how we did all that. But for now, we're just gonna right. describe it to you. Uh, so uh, this little mine cart train the three of them go around the house and we went to another station to get to the party but we when we're leaving we're going to go out the other tunnel which is the south mine tunnel well we decided to make that one um more like a fun house tunnel a little bit and so when you leave the rear train station you accidentally go through the wrong doors and you crash through them rather than having us open them automatically very Mr. And Toad's wild ride. You go went the wrong way. Right. <laughs> you went the wrong way. Yeah. And inside there, there's also, it's pretty dark and there's a drop. So you get hit with a fog cannon 
and uh, smoke cannon, and then you go down a drop, and you didn't know it. So and we had some bats uh, in we there. We tried to add that. Yes, a video bats. Uh, yeah. Right. We had we had some bats, and then we added more bats for the uh, rest of this, which we, we I guess I can bring up. Uh, we used uh, did the party again in October and had a uh, Halloween version. So we made the whole ride be a haunted mine ride and added, changed the effects around and, and made it a whole different kind of thing. That was our party. Anything else we have to say about that? I mean, the food and drink was awesome. Well, of course, the food and drink was um, uh, Western oriented. Um, we did pulled pork and brisket sandwiches and I actually did made the meat ahead of time. And then the catering caterers uh, assembled it. We had fried onion rings and we had bourbon and Cokes and all kinds of stuff. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, very fond memories of that party. So uh, we're looking forward to doing more parties. Uh, we've got something sure. coming up. Uh, we're going to talk about that in our next episode, though. Uh, right. we've, we've got the Chicago... What's the official name of this party now? It's the Chicago Prohibition... Uh, Speakeasy. Speakeasy. Chicago Speakeasy. Prohibition Speakeasy event. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, which we're starting, we'll start showing you that next week. And we'll also be going in depth and all kinds of things, all, all how we did the, the, the shooting gallery effect and uh, our game and the, the whole deep dive on the ride itself and, and how that works. So and, you can do uh, it yourself. We, yeah. Right. As we do the new of do things for the uh, prohibition, we'll be showing you what we do with that as well. And we're already into uh, production on this. Uh, on yes. this upcoming event and we're tired and have a lot to do but we're going to try to share it all with you uh, well I think we've covered everything we wanted to cover today uh, thank you all so much for joining us here at Theme Park at Home like and subscribe like so, and subscribe how do you how do you do that? there's a button okay that's there's right a there's button. a button it's right down there oh it's right down there and uh, also notifications, you turn notifications on, you're going to know whenever we post something. So like and subscribe, please help us out. We feed the algorithm, it feeds us. We love you, and we'll see you next time on Theme Park at Home.